Hello everyone, my name is Flirterp, and welcome to my, uh, Pokemon team for Pokemon Moon, or Sun and Moon. I will be getting Pokemon Moon because I like the night better than the day. I know that we need sun to live, to grow things, and without the sun we would not be existing. But I like the moon a lot better, honestly. Like... I, I I really I really really do. I love the moon. If I had a choice to stay up either during the day or during the night, I would pick during the night because I love the moon so much. But sadly, I am I don't have a choice to do that. I got to sleep at night and be awake in the day. Though I love the moon. Okay. So, uh let's get right into uh my Pokémon team. So, for my starter, I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for this, but honestly, I do not care. Uh, it will be Poplio. Yes, Poplio. You all should not hate me for this, but I actually like Poplio. Poplio, I like the design. I do like seals. They're not my favorite animal, but I do like seals. And he is a seal. Or sea lion. Basically, almost basically the same thing. Almost. Don't don't quote me on that. But, uh... And also, I... Actually, I think I always go for the water-type uh, starter in almost every Pokemon game. Like, in Gen 1, I picked Charmander, because he was a fan favorite. Um... It's like Gen 1, but you're not even old enough to play be playing Gen 1. No, but I do have uh, Pokemon Blue on my 3DS, and I picked Trimander. Uh, yeah. And, uh, in Generation 2, I I picked, well, for, first I picked Totodile and then Cynical. I'm not, I'm not going to go into this, but, um, yes, I do like Poplio. Like, Poplio may be the most hated, but watched. And, yeah, but watched. <laughs> but watch. He is going to be just completely awesome. Kind of like Chesspin. Chesspin was the most hated. But then look what happened. He got a complete badass looking uh, final evolution. And he was actually kind of good for uh, competitive battling if you know how to use him correctly. Okay, so coming in at our, at our number two spot uh, will be Rockruff Dash Iwanko, however you want to say him, say his name. We got the English name and the Japanese name, but yeah, Rockruff. I'm actually gonna go for him. I am a complete dog lover. I do love dogs. I love dogs, and. I actually like how Rockruff looks. All like I love every single aspect of him, especially his floppy ears. Like I love dogs with floppy ears. I also like uh like I also like his little paw designs. Like uh like how they have that triangle shape in the front. I'm not sure how he looks from the We haven't seen him from the back yet, I don't believe. But I also like the little fur collar thing around his neck, where act like it actually looks like he has rocks growing out of his neck. Which, if they are rocks, it <laughs> probably hurt like a probably hurt like heck. Um. Anyway, oh, I also love his curly tail. Yeah, I like I, li I like his little curly tail. You can't see it because Poplio's is um blocking it. But uh, yeah, he has a curly tail, and I like the way it looks. So coming in at, at our number three spot is going to be Mimikyu. A lot of people don't like Mimikyu, honestly. I'm I, honestly I I like Mimikyu. I think Mimikyu is cute. Now me, I don't use Ghost type Pokemon that much, but Mimikyu will be an add-on to my team. Mimikyu is just too cute to pass by. Like honestly, all Mimikyu wants is a friend. Mimikyu just wants a friend. Okay, so coming in at our number four spot, I'm gonna put a. I'm gonna put um, Mimikyu. 
on top of the Pokemon you're going to see in just one second uh, is going to be Mudbray and Mudsdale. My Mud, like, when I'm going to go after Mudbray, um, I put both Mudbray and Mudsdale in there because since I know what he evolves into, that's what I'm going to be using. And yes, I do love horses. He's a, like, I know that he's a mule, but, uh, he's just, like, just look at his design with the orange and brown and black. All those mixed together. Kind of looks like a Halloween Pokemon now that I think about it. Kind of like Pumpkaboo and uh, Gorgeous. I'm not going to put a picture of them. But, um, but, yeah, he kind of looks like a Halloween uh, sort of Pokemon. But, like, I like, like, I like how he looks. Um, I believe he is based on after, what was it? I believe it's a Scottish horse. I want to put a picture up on screen right now if I'm correct. Um, if I'm not correct, I'll also put up um, the, what is it? I'm pretty sure it's Scottish though. Because the, because uh, the very hairy uh, hooves like, I know that Scottish horses do have very hairy hooves and that they're designed like that. They're, they've always been growing like that, I believe. But, yeah, just, just don't, just don't get me wrong if I'm, if I'm not correct, but I'm pretty sure that there are other horse types out there that have very hairy hooves. Very hairy hooves. <laughs> That's about that, right? Very hairy, very hairy hooves is kind of fun to say. But, um, I do like how, like, I like... Uh, I, oh, I even like the, I even like the mohawk, like, like, the, like, it, I'm sorry I'm saying like a lot, I don't know why it's a habit, but, um, I do like, uh, the mohawk on Mudsdale and Mudbray, I'm sorry if I'm saying Mudsdale first and then Mudbray, because Mudbray is a bit hard to say after, um, saying, oh, Mudbray is actually easier to say after saying Mudsdale, so I say Mudsdale and then Mudbray, even though, Mudbray is the bottom, and then Mudsdale is the top. And yeah, let's let, let's just move on to, to our number five spot. Okay, so coming in, our number five spot is Drompa. Now a lot of people they're like, why are you be using Drompa? Why are you using Drompa? Drompa, stupid looking. So, it, well, doesn't matter if he's stupid looking. I like Drompa. Like, he's a dragon type. Oh, he also might be flying type. I don't know, but if he has flying type, there's a Pokemon I'm gonna use Fly on. I don't know though. Um. Okay, so like, there's not much to like about him, but I do, I like, I do like the way he looks, and he does remind me of a certain dragon from a certain movie. I uh, I don't know. Completely forgot the name of that movie, honestly. Uh, I did watch it when I was younger, though. I I, I do remember that. All right, so let's just move on. Uh, coming in at our number six spot, our final Pokemon is a question mark. Oh wait, there's a qu. Oh, okay. All right. All right. I know why there's a question mark. There's a question mark because the last slot is actually open for any Pokemon, really. Now, like, there hasn't been many flying type Pokemon that I actually like. There has been Peaky Peck. There is a bug Pokemon. I think he'll be able to learn fly. Um, like, I think it's like Vogue Beetle or something. Uh, I don't know. But, um,. Yeah, it's it's open to anyone really. Uh, I might put in like another Rockruff or something, or like another Mudbray or Mudsdale. Uh, I don't know, but I do need a flying type Pokemon if Drompa cannot learn fly. Uh, I might even put Lunala in there, but me, I don't I don't use legendaries really. Though I will use Lunala for a little while. Um, but if Drompa cannot learn fly, I do need the last Pokemon. I do need a bird Pokemon. I might just stick with a Pidgey. I'm not really sure. I, I do like Pidgey. Like, I, 
my favorite evolution is actually Pidgeot, of course. Pidgeot is just too awesome to let go. Uh, but, yeah. I, my last one's actually open. Alright, so, um... That's actually all I have to If you want, subscribe if you're new to my channel. Thank you guys again. I love you all, and goodbye. Sorry for my goal.